Welcome back to the Arsenal career mode, guys. Today is a big one. It's a massive episode. As you can see, we have brought in a new player. Fekir has joined up with the squad, but today it's all about a player that could potentially be leaving, and that is, of course, Alexis Sanchez. 88 rated. Uh, let's make sure I'm on the right team. So this is the position he's been playing in for me, the left wing or left mid. Well, no, it is left wing or left forward, I guess, in this 3-4-3. Now, I've really enjoyed him at the club, but I had a massive offer come in from PSG. So um, I'm sure you've watched it. If you haven't watched it, please do go back because it's time now to finalise this deal. Is he going to be leaving and are we going to be replacing him? Or is he just going to point blank reject PSG's contract offer and stay with the club? Now... I obviously have a few players in mind that I'm interested in bringing in. And these are those players. We've got Drax, Lasane, Royce and Griezmann. Now, I have a lot of money to play with. Even after the sale of Fekir, um, sorry, the purchase of Fekir, we still have £85 million to spend. The wage budget's a little bit off there. Let's, uh, let's, let's change that a little bit. So if I go... If we go around 90 to 10, so the ratio is 90 to 10, we've got... 80 million and easily enough wage to cover a new player coming in. But the thing is, if we sell Alexis for 85 and a half million, which is exactly what I counter offered and they accepted, we're going to get a lot of money and we can afford probably any player we want. I mean, realistically, not many players go for more than 130 million, as I've seen. So, you know, I tested it myself with Ronaldo and Messi when I was at the EA capture event. Both players were, you know, around the 100 million mark. Um, Ronaldo being a little bit more than Messi, funnily enough. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is wait. Now, I know that hasn't worked for me in the past in this, se in this season, actually. I waited too long in some, in some cases. But I can't really approach a player like Griezmann or Sane or Drax or whatever if I don't know what's going on with Sanchez. We need to know if he's leaving or not. But as of right now... I'm not going to lie, guys. I, I feel like my signings have been good signings, but a little bit underwhelming in terms of price tag, in terms of the stature of the player. Griezmann would change this team, and I'm going to go all out in this career mode now. I have to bring in Griezmann. He is 89 rated. He's a step higher than Alexis. Any other player here, I mean, I might as well just get rid of Royce. There's no way I'm going for Royce. Out of these three players here... These would these two would be a step down. Draxler, for me, is better at cam anyway. He's not really suited to a winger role in FIFA. So Sane would be the other choice. And I've got Sterling and I've got Martial. They're both 85 rated. I've got to go big or go home. So Griezmann is the guy I want to go for. He has no release clause. And we're looking up to 140 million to sign in, which is exactly the kind of money we're going to have if Alexis gets sold. But now we are going to go up against Bradford. It's our first FA Cup fixture and it's at home. Obviously, I'm not going to play this one. I know I said I would only simulate the League Cup matches, but maybe with the FA Cup, I could do the first few rounds against the lower rated teams. So we'll go ahead and use the second team here, which is still more than strong enough. Lacazette does come in with Welbeck. That's because Giroud's gone. I need to change that team. We've won it 4-0. They missed a penalty in the 89th minute, so we keep our clean sheet. Easy enough. That is going to be uh, us going through to the next round. Let's go ahead and do this training before I check my emails. I'm actually a little bit, I'm a little bit nervous about this. It seems like most of you agree with me that whilst it's not ideal to be selling your highest rated player, but it matches what's going to happen in real life. He's going. And I think most people have accepted that by now. So here we go. Emails. We've got two of them. He's gone. Two players have actually been sold. So Bramall has gone to Barcelona, of course, which was ridiculous. And talking of Barcelona, the ex-Barcelona winger Alexis Sanchez has now moved on from Arsenal to PSG. What a career he's having. So 85.5 million was the final price that we negotiated. We keep 79.5. That is a lot of money. Bellerin is concerned. Don't be concerned. You're playing every game at the moment. So there we go. Absolutely unbelievable. That's Meza Ozil and Alexis, <coughs> excuse me, Alexis and Meza Ozil sold for over 80 million, which is quite incredible. So that leaves us now if we check our budget. Oh, it hasn't gone in yet. Um, we're probably going to have to wait a little bit more then. Let's go ahead and advance. We get some tournament prize money as well. I bet that's not much. 70k. That's not even going to pay Griezmann's wages for a couple of days. Has it gone in yet? There you go. 150 million. 
Wow. That is... I think that's the most money I've had in a career mode in a long, long time. So now we make the offer, guys. Griezmann, I am coming for you. Let's go. Let's approach to buy. It's a shame he doesn't have a release clause. I could just go ahead and nick him now before the next game. But we're going to have to go through the stages here. <clears throat> My throat is absolutely killing me today. What is wrong with me? And look at that. Imagine having Mustafi on the wall. <laughs> Mustafi is your, your player that you want to show off. Okay. We're going to go ahead and offer a transfer fee. I'm not looking to sell anyone at this point his current value is 70 but let's be honest like come on it's Griezmann he's one of the highest rated so I'm thinking I'll go in with a sensible offer of 85 million they're gonna reject it which is fine the first one could be rejected but it gets me closer I will understand you know how much they're actually looking for here and they want oh, <sighs> 131 oh we can easily afford it we'd still have 26 left over but I've got to try lower. I've got to. I can't just go straight in and say, yep, that's that's how big clubs bully you. Okay, let's try this again. It's going to be over 110. Let's try 115 million, maybe. 115? I've got a feeling that might be rejected. Maybe they're going to ask for 130. They might come down by 1 million. No, we'll accept that. I'm happy to see we could arrive at a compromise and seal the deal. Griezmann could be on his way to Arsenal. Holy crap. And by the way, apparently, obviously Lacazette was looking to join Atletico Madrid. They had the, the transfer ban, so he ended up going to Arsenal. He's really close friends with Griezmann. So we're going to have Lacazette, Griezmann and Fekir, three really close friends, potentially as our front three, although I think Sterling probably still gets in that front three. So here we go. This is going to be one expensive contract. He's going to want a huge signing on bonus. But here we go, the moment we've been waiting for. Of course he wants Crucial as his squad role. Absolutely fine by me. Come on, we can do this. We can get a good deal here. We're going to go ahead and ask for a four-year contract. I think that's more than fine. He's only 27. I mean, he could easily go for another 10 years, potentially. 37 for a striker. You don't see that too often. Maybe keepers go to 37 years old. Uh, no, they don't want to add a release clause. No release clause. That is always a good thing. We don't really want to be adding those, although it wouldn't have mattered. We're only going to be potentially finishing this season and then moving on to another career mode. So, okay, that is respectable. I'm not going to lie, I'm quite happy with that. 195 grand per week is not very much for a player of his calibre. And a signing bonus of 2.6, and he wants 1.4 after five goals. I mean... It's, it's, it's actually, it's nothing really. I'm going to remove the bonus just because I absolutely hate that. It really bothers me that the money's sitting there and it's just going to disappear. So what I will do is I will offer him. I'm going to actually be be really nice here. <laughs> I'm going to make this happen. So I'm going to give him 3 million and I'm going to up his wages to 200k, which I believe still makes him, I don't think it makes him the top, top earner. I mean, we can double check that, but I'm pretty sure someone else is on 200k or more. Maybe not, actually. Maybe Alexis was the only one. I know Ozil may, may... Actually, I can't remember now. But is he going to accept it? Yes, he is. There you go. It's not what he was looking for, but he will accept it because he's eager to join Arsenal. Said no one ever. <laughs> We've done it, though. We've got Antoine Griezmann. He is going to be absolutely lethal. That's the wrong team. If we go into the first team here... I mean, to be fair, even if we didn't get Griezmann, we could still use Martial who, in my opinion, is better than Alexis Sanchez in this game anyway. But if we go ahead and move some players around here, check. Let's play him at left wing. Why not? Let's bring Griezmann in on that left side. Now, remember, Griezmann used to play as a left winger. He used to play there for Real Sociedad. So I've got no problem putting him on the left, switching him around with Lacazette. I mean, this, this team is unreal. And you know what's even more creepy he wears number seven at Atletico, so we can just give him number seven, which is exactly what Alexis had. So it, it was written in the stars. We've gone ahead and improved the team, and I can't believe that. So hopefully you guys are happy with this signing. I'm, I'm hoping it's not boring in any way, even though it, it kind of could be because I've used Griezmann a lot in uh, previous FIFAs. But the fact is, he's a higher rated player than Alexis. He's the most expensive signing I think I'm, I've ever made in an Arsenal career mode. I think he comfortably is. And he's just going to be incredible. It, it just worked. So uh, we're going to go ahead and play our first game with him. First, though, we have a semi-final in the Carabao Cup against Leicester City. Now, of course, this is the competition we are simulating 
all the way to the final. Should we get there? We've got two legs against Leicester. They've won their last three games. I'm hoping we can beat them with the second team. Fekir comes in, though. And we've lost. Wow, I was not expecting that. We've actually lost our home game. So that is going to make getting to the final a lot harder than it should have been. Martial got our only goal. That's not good, is it? That really is not good at all. I wasn't expecting that. But we're going to go into the Bournemouth game. We are three points clear at the moment at the top. And today, we are going to be going with Fekir on the right, Lacazette up front. Oh, interesting. And Griezmann on the left, of course. But Germany want me to in uh, be their international manager. I'm not interested at the moment. I do apologise if you were excited by that, but it's just not for me. And there he is. First time seeing Griezmann in an Arsenal shirt. Would it ever happen? Absolutely no way. No way. Not a chance in hell. And there he is once again. He's going to look really good on that left side in number, wearing number seven, of course. But what a front three. The three French players up top. Fekir on the right. He's going to be absolutely class, I'm sure. Actually, we might even be able to get him in here. Here he is. No way. No, no, no. That didn't just happen. We just scored. I think that's our fastest goal. That must be. That was absolutely ridiculous. And Fekir... I think that's his... Yeah, that, that, this is the first game I've used him. It's his first goal with his first touch in the first minute. I mean, that is the quickest goal I think I've ever scored in any FIFA. <laughs> okay, then. Bournemouth 1-0 down already. Oh, dear. Oh, God. No way. No. Oh, they've missed. <laughs> okay, this game has been insane. That is... I, I cannot believe they haven't scored there. That would have been... One all after four minutes. I've never seen that in FIFA 18. Uh, in my career mode, at least. I've probably, I've probably seen that in an Ultimate Team video at some point. Because we know how many goals get conceded in Ultimate Team. Here's Lacazette. Over to Griezmann. It's, uh, it's a little bit odd not having him right up front. But look at the skill he's got, though. Just to bring it inside. Ooh. Oh, my God. Fekir's in again. Come on. Get there. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Pass it inside. Fekir's again. We should have scored there. We really should have. I, I don't know how this, this game has started like this. I can't remember the last time a game was this frantic. Oh, that's a lovely flick. Here come Bournemouth again. He's gone for the square. What, what, why is he doing that? He was through on goal. Bournemouth are making some pretty poor decisions. And even when they get through, they're just not very clinical. They could easily be actually winning this game by this point. It's madness. That's a nice ball. Good turn. Lacazette's in here. And Lacazette scores. This could be absolutely deadly, guys. I think, although I prefer Sterling at the moment over Fekir, I think that's just purely because I've used him more. This front three, though, is absolutely disgusting. Lacazette, Griezmann and Fekir, the three Frenchmen, tearing Bournemouth apart today. And then on the bench, Martial, Sterling, Danny Welbeck. I can't believe I'm even using his name as an example but he's ridiculous in this game he's so strong we've got a hell of a team I think that's going to be it for the first half though Bournemouth had some moments they really did and it doesn't show it in the scoreline but then again we've been pretty good as well what a first half oh look at the space here for Griezmann he should be in there he's obviously got the pace to keep going I think I'm gonna have to cross this one though back post for Bellerin and he finishes it 3-0 and instantly in this second half, we've scored again. Bellerin has been incredible. He really has such a good player in this game. The whole team is good. I know I keep going on about it, but I think out of all the Arsenal career modes I've ever done, I've never felt this confident in, in the team. I know that's a lot to say. I've done a lot of these career modes with Arsenal, but the team I've built here, it, it's just a machine. And now that I've said that, I'm probably going to get nowhere near the, uh, the Champions League final because I'll bloody bottle it against Madrid or something. We might be in again, though. Okay, that's not the best pass, but I might be able to win that. There you go. Here's Klasinac, top assister at the club. Over to Fekir, he brings it down. <sighs> Almost got the shot away. Here's Bellerin again. Going to turn. Play it to Goretzka. Now inside again. Oh, what a ball that is for Granit Xhaka. Now in for Klasinac. Is he going to score? Off the bar, surely the rebound. Yes. 4-0. And Klasinac probably up there as MVP of the season so far. How has my left back, or left midfielder, I guess, got the most assists? I don't know. He's just added another goal to his tally as well. He's so good. He's the lowest rated player in my squad, but he's one of the best. He really is. He's so strong. And I tell you what, from that angle, 
wasn't easy to get that one in. I feel really bad, guys. I've just brought on Ramsey in midfield. Nothing too special. But then Martial and Sterling. I mean, it's like, you know, okay, yeah, taking off Griezmann and Fekir. Surely you're going to be weaker now. But no, Martial and Sterling. Two of the best wingers in the game. That's how strong this squad is right now. And here's Ramsey now. Who needs Goretzka when you've got Ramsey, I guess? <laughs> That's what Goretzka's been doing this season. Such an easy goal. Look how much space I had. They don't even they don't even come to me. This is on legendary, guys. I promise you. And I'm winning 5-0 against a pretty strong Bournemouth team. This has been one of the best games I've had in a long time. Maybe it's just because I'm having fun. Having, you know, a player like Griezmann show up isn't a bad deal, is it? It's very, very fun. Here we go then. Final part of the game. Let's see what we can do from this corner. Straight to Martial. That would have been an own goal. I didn't even touch that. But two minutes of added time. I'm pretty sure the referee's going to blow his whistle here. 5-0. Absolute destruction. And that's the most fun I've had in FIFA 18, I think. That game was just unbelievable. There were moments where we could have easily conceded. But we did keep the clean sheet. Griezmann made his debut. So did Fekir, I think. Although he's played in simulated games. He's, he's played his first game for me. And he scored in the first minute, which was just unreal. What a game. It turns out that Bellerin got man of the match and a 10 out of 10 rating as well. I mean, that doesn't happen very often for a defender at least. So we're going to jump into training now before our next game, which I believe is the second leg against Leicester in the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. Maitland-Niles did hit 71, by the way, so he is slowly creeping up. I'm not really going to be using him. I mean, some of the names I was just talking about. How am I going to get Maitland-Niles into the team? I don't know. David Luiz has signed for Bayern, by the way. Interesting signing. And now we've got an offer here from Aston Villa for Emiliano Martinez. We'll go ahead and accept that, but it won't go through because of his wages. Now, I know you can negotiate, but even that sometimes doesn't work. Look at the table. Let's have a look where Bournemouth were, because I don't think they've been that bad. They're down in 16th, um, and we just deleted their goals away um, record to 33. <laughs> they've just conceded five in one game. Oh, dearie me. Let's continue here. Let's see what goes on in the transfer window. And uh, we get another transfer offer for Emiliano uh, Martinez. It's Leon. Interesting. Wait, is it? Yeah, it is Leon. Two million. Um, I can't accept it. He's currently negotiating with Aston Villa, so I can't do anything anyway. And Chile haven't heard from me. That's because I'm not interested. I'm sorry about that. Actually, no, our next game is against Wolves. Okay, let's see. Um, I, I kind of want to see what other signings have gone through so far. Got a bit of money there. Lacazette wants to play the next game. Our manager rating's up to 82, by the way, which is good to see. Um, but let's have a look at some of the top transfers at the moment in this window. So if we go over to... I think we should go to date, shouldn't we? So we have Vashalko going to Everton. Ribeiro, a few free transfers. Kishner's gone to Zenit. Interesting move. Only 10.5 million for Kishner. That's not too bad. Um, what the hell? Bayern have sold Freidel to Spurs. Okay. Not many big, big deals going through, but we've got Dortmund making a free signing. Uh, anything else? We've got George Jorge, I guess, going from Monaco to West Ham for under 10 million. That's pretty interesting. Olsen's moved to, to Italy. Isaac's success has gone to Ghent. I mean, there's some, some interesting signings here. Havertz has gone to Valencia. I wouldn't have mind getting uh, Havertz in. He's a good young player. But nothing huge. Wow, okay, that's interesting. Rashford has gone to Atletico Madrid. 83 rated, one of the best strikers in the game in his prime. And he's only gone for 34 million. Then Donker's moved for 26. I think that's pretty much it, except from David Luiz, 33 million. Any other really big ones? No. Interesting. So there's been some interesting moves in the window so far, but nothing... Mind-blowingly incredible. I think David Luiz to Bayern's a bit of a unique one. I haven't seen that one in a while. But now we're going to jump into the game against Wolves. They are in 19th, so this should be another easy game.
Well, that game against Wolves was a little bit rubbish, if you ask me. I really didn't play very well. It's so weird how that happens for me. I feel like one game I'm playing really well, and then one game I just I, I can't do anything. But we luckily got the win. Captain Jack Wilsh is scoring the goal that gets us the three points. Into training there. Mate, and Nas has done pretty, pretty well. So that is going to wrap up this episode. We've got the, uh, the second leg against Leicester coming up soon, and then it's going to be the end of the transfer window which has been pretty crazy apparently we're not on track okay fair enough and Lacazette feels like he's in good form before we go I wanted to check our uh, top scorer right now because I know I checked relatively recently but I can't remember who it was I think it was um Martial wasn't it let's just double check that again so now it's Lacazette he's got 13 goals in 22 appearances and four assists and if we check near the bottom we should be able to see how many goals we've already got with Fekir. So, yeah, he's got one goal in three games. And then we have, I'm guessing he's, yeah, he hasn't done so well, has he? Eight appearances for Griezmann, four assists, but no goals. Interesting. But actually, hang on. That is showing Champions League games. I was just about to say, eight appearances for Griezmann. That doesn't make sense at all. Um, so he hasn't done very well at all for Atletico either. But four assists in... Um, in the season for for having eight games is, is not too bad is it and that's just champions league so there we go that is going to round up the video thank you so much for watching guys hopefully you're excited to see how griezmann gets on at arsenal we've played a couple of games already and he's uh, he's looking very good so i'm very excited to see how he gets on make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell as well and i will see you in the next episode soon